Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to reprocess your YouTube videos for the best quality. I did a video on this topic back in 2018 and it's surprisingly gotten more attention than I thought it would and lots of comments have been asking for an updated version since YouTube's UI has changed since then. So here is the 2021 version of how to reprocess your video. A little bit of background real quick, my channel was terminated back in 2018 for some unknown reason, I still don't have any idea why. But over the course of a week, it was terminated and reinstated four different times. When the dust finally settled, I had my channel back, but all 200 of my videos at the time were downgraded to 360p. I asked YouTube's customer service how to fix this, but they weren't really much help, so I had to come up with my own solution, and here is how to do it. First, you want to go to YouTube Studio. You can get to that by selecting your profile icon on the top right of the screen and selecting YouTube Studio. Then on the left side of your screen, go to content and select the video that has the problem. In my case, it's this Gmod funny moments video that I uploaded way back in 2015. Click on the video. If we select the video on the left side of the screen, it'll open up the video and we can see that the only resolutions available are 360p, which is not correct because it should have 1080p available. In fact, even on this screen over here, you can see that it's supposedly in standard definition and high definition, but we can't see any of those on our video. That's the problem and here's the solution. First, click on the editor button on the left side of the screen. Then once you're on this screen, click trim and then zoom all the way in. Finally, make sure you're on the far left of the video. So it should say zero uh, colon zero zero colon zero zero. So you're at the exact start. What you want to do is you want to move this slider over one, just like that. Finally, click preview and then make sure your video is still wow. exactly the same as it oh. was and then click save. Now what we've done right here, before we click save, what we've done right here is we have trimmed a single frame off the start of the video. Now this is not something that you would notice as a viewer, but this is something that YouTube notices, and in order to trim that frame, YouTube has to reprocess the entire video, which is what helps us bring back our 1080p. So if you're fine with this change, which is trimming a single frame off the start of your video, click save, and then we wait. So this is going to take a long time depending on the length of your video. A 5 minute video might only take 45 minutes while a 30 minute video could take hours, but it's important to note that you don't actually have to stay on this screen the entire time. You can close the screen and go do whatever you want, it'll just happen in the background on YouTube's servers off wherever they are. I'm just going to cut to when this is done processing and I'll be right back. All right, here we are. It's done processing. It's been about 45 minutes. So it took 45 minutes to do my seven minute and 36 second video. So I guess that's how much you could expect for it to do. But has it worked? That is the question. Let's uh, let's click on this and view it on YouTube. And if we click play, you'll see down here in the settings, we now have options for anywhere from 144p to 1080p 60fps. So that's the trick right there. That's all there is to it. By trimming just that one frame, YouTube reprocesses our video and they gave us back the original 1080p resolution that we uploaded it as. As a quick little disclaimer though, this trick only fixes your video resolution if it's currently lower than what you uploaded it at. For instance, if you uploaded a 4K video and it's stuck at 480p, this trick should fix that. However, if you upload a 1080p and just want it to be in 4K, this trick will not magically make your video 4K. In other words, this trick will fix YouTube bugs, but it will not magically enhance your video. If this worked for you, please consider leaving a like on the video, and if it didn't, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Finally, if you really hate red buttons, you can click the subscribe button to turn it into a gray button. And that's all that I've got for you guys. Hope this helps.